Winter wildcard promos back and today we've picked out Lucas Klosterman. He's cost me just under 100k and in this video we're going to find out why. So he is six foot two, medium medium work rates. He's right footed. He has the five star skill moves for a centre back, three star weak foot. Now we can only play centre back or right wing back. It's more than likely looking like just playing centre back. If you look at his passing and dribbling, you're not going to play this guy at right back. No way. His ball control is not very good. Obviously his agility and balances and, and obviously look at his passing. You know if you're playing as a fullback and you want your fullbacks going forward, you're not going to do that. His pace split's decent. It's not amazing though. Obviously, eight acceleration to 92 sprint speed. You probably want a little bit more, obviously a little bit less of sprint speed, a bit more acceleration, but he does have the controlled accelerating game with the high and average body type. So again, at, with control, we're going to put that shadow chemistry style and that's probably going to max out his pace and defending. Obviously, defensively, we don't need to worry. He's got good interceptions. Higher defensive awareness, what you're going to need. With that shadow chemistry style on, it's going to boost them up a lot. Physical stats are good, just not amazing. Obviously, his jumping's 87. Stamina's good. Strength's good. Aggression obviously does let him down. I want my defenders to be a little bit more physical. Now, player traits, speed dribbler and team player. Obviously, they're good. Obviously, speed dribbler, you're not really going to have too much for a centre back. Depends if you want to drive out of them or not. Obviously, if you, depends if you play like a back five or a back three when you move up with your centre backs. But like I said, he's going to play centre back for me. I'm not going to play this guy at right back. He's not good enough for me to play there. So we're going to play a few games of rivals and let's see how we get on. That's what's so good about Klossman is his pace. The way he can come across, make the tackle as well. Good passing range as well for a centre back. Ooh, nice interception by Klossman. Probably was going to score if he, if he didn't. So vital interception. And Klossman coming back just to make sure we don't concede any more. And how good is this card? Because he's so pacey, so quick. He's able to get across really, really quickly. And another interception. Like I said, really enjoying this card so far. See, see, defensive AI. As soon as he thought that ball was gaining behind him, Klosterman, he's already starting to drop back. Again, there's a, again, another nice tackle. Because of how pacey he is, this is the main reason. Like, even now, just driving out with him. Wow, what a, what a challenge that is. Again, Klosterman is there again. Again, winning his aerial juice. Really, really nice play from Klosterman. Again, it's another great save. Oh, what a block off the line from Klosterman. It's what I like about the card as well. Yeah, it can drive out from the back with it. Tried to see if I could run around the defender. Probably should have just played the ball a little bit earlier. Don't want pass from Klosterman. Look at that. Picks out the fullback. Now, final verdict on Klosterman. Now, I really enjoyed using this card. He has so much pace about him. Keep that shallow chemistry style on him. And he doesn't really get outpaced by anyone, really. He seems to catch a lot of people up. Controlled accelerate, obviously, as well. He's got eight acceleration, 99 sprint speed. You know, you're not really going to beat this guy for pace. Maybe someone like Mbappe. Maybe somebody like that, maybe a Dharma trial ray, but not too many people in this game are going to beat him for pace. His passing's good enough in game, left foot and right foot, it's what you're going to want. Obviously, you're not going to use your centre backs to play too many long passes with anyway. You're mainly going to get the ball into the midfield and do that. So, again, his passing's good enough for a centre back. Dribbling wise is really good. Like I said, high and average body type can sometimes be hit and miss, depending on how big they are. But Klosterman, it really suits him well. Good reactions in game, ball control is decent. So, you are able to drive forward with him from centre back. Depends if you want to do that or not, but like I said, you can, you do have the options to do that with Klosterman. Now, because of how pace he is, obviously with the anchor, with the shadow, sorry, chemistry style on, you can already see he's got high interceptions and stand tackle. He is very, very good as a conservative defender. So what I mean by that is not by, you just hold your players in position. You might just L2, just jockey back, jockey back. Because of how quick he is, you don't need to worry about diving in and being aggressive. Obviously his aggression's not that high and he doesn't, He's not more of a physical defender. What I mean by that is he's not like a Van Dyke, a Koulibaly, I'd probably say, you know, he's not that physical where he's just going to take the ball off of you. But like I said, for more of conservative defending, when you are just waiting for them balls over the top, you know, just stepping off, stepping off. Because of how quick he is in game, you can defend like that. So 
if, if that's how you defend in game, like I said, where you're not really controlling your center backs too much, you know, this guy's absolutely perfect for that because of his pace, because of how good the defensive eye is on him. You know, this is a perfect defender for conservative defending. The aggression, I didn't really notice it too much. Like I said, I, I, I realized very quickly that he's, you're, you're best off defending with this guy by dropping deep and just obviously, yeah, trying to go pace for pace for people. So really, really nice in games, physical stats. He didn't really get bullied, to be fair. Like I played against a lot of different strikers. Govu, Papin was a few. I think I played against Crouch as well. We didn't really get bullied at all. Won a few headers as well. So all round, this card is really, really good. Now, linking this card is not going to be a problem. Obviously, he's German, plays in the Bundesliga. The only problem is there's not that many special cards in Bundesliga. Obviously, you've got Alfonso Davis left back. You've got Manuel Neuer. You've got a few nice cards, but the top tier cards are mainly in like the Prem, Liga 1. So for that reason, La Liga as well. That's the only thing that, that sort of lets him down. Not because of the links. There is good links to him. Just I just feel like the best players are in those three leagues. Now, is Klosterman worth getting in the team? 100% yes. You know, this card is so annoying. He's always in everyone's starter squads because of how good he is. Because of that pace. He's already got good defending. Now he's had a, a boosted up card where his pace is even better. His defending's even better. You know, you've got one of the best centre-backs on the game at the moment, I'd say. He's not a top, top tier centre-back. But just because of the pace and the controlled accelerate being the best accelerate on the game at the moment, this is absolutely unreal. And like I said, if you're not that good at defending and you do want to play conservative where you're not really controlling your centre-backs too much, this guy's absolutely perfect with you. With the shadow chemistry style on him, all his defending's in the 90s, plus he has that pace. So if someone does try to get that ball over the top or around the side of your defender, 9 times out of 10, Klosterman is going to catch him up for pace. So if I do give him a rating out of 10, I'm going to give him a 9.5. He does have the 5-star skill moves. I didn't really use them too much. You're not really going to use a centre-back with 5-star skill moves. You're not going to try a flip-flap or a Leicester Co in your own box because, you know, if you do get tackled, you're going to lose. So, like I said, I'm going to give him a 9, 9.5 because, like I said, really nice card. Maybe just a better weak foot. Maybe just that little bit better passing, better physical stats aggression-wise. That's the only thing that probably lets him down. But if you are looking to get cards like Lucas Klosterman in your team, Click on that Discord link below. We've got traders in there making hundreds of thousands of coins every single week. Click on that link below and we'll see you in the next video.